Drupal 8 has a lot of new responsive web design features, especially in the administrative UI. And one of these features is responsive tables. This is accomplished in views and in the administrative tables. So if we were to go to the administrative content page and resize this window, resize the viewport, you can see that the columns disappear based on their priority. And we can create a table with this kind of functionality where the tables are given a class of priority medium, priority low, and as the viewport changes and as those breakpoints are reached, first the priority low columns disappear and then the priority medium disappears. So if we were to go into structure and views, we can create a view that has a table display that implements this functionality. I'll go ahead and add a new view called table demo and we'll do content of type article and we'll create a page and we'll use the display format of table and I'll go ahead and save and edit. Let's add a few fields. We'll add authored by and authored on. Let's also add the body field and we'll add a summary in there. And how about the published status? This will give us a, a number of fields that we can prioritize and then demonstrate the hiding and showing of those fields. So I'll go ahead and apply and continue here. Same with the authored on. And for the body, let's just do the summary or trimmed. Let's just show 100 or 200. Let's just show 100 characters. And I'm going to strip HTML tags and continue. And then finally, the publishing status. Let's click apply. And now we have a number of fields. So here's the default output of our table. And now let's go under format next to table and let's go into settings. And let me make this window a little bit bigger so we can see everything here in the overlay. And we've got this new column over here called responsive. What this enables us to do is to set a priority for each column. So if some data is less important than others or is less vital than other others, we can set the priority lower. And as the breakpoint is reached, as you narrow the viewport, those lower priority columns are hidden. So let's make the body a low priority. And how about the authored by, let's make that medium, and the authored on medium. And we'll keep the title and the publishing status to high. I'll click apply. And let's save. And let's view that page. So now we have this table, and which was built with a view. I'm going to resize the viewport. I'm using the responsive design view in Firefox. And let's keep an eye on, first the body field went away. So that's our low priority column. And then as further breakpoints are reached, we should see two more of these go away. So now we just have the high priority columns of title and publishing status left in the narrowest media query. So let's inspect this table and see what's going on behind the scenes. No doubt there's some JavaScript happening, but we also have some classes that we could apply to content that we create with a node and using the WYSIWYG editor. If we wanted to drop in an HTML table into our content, we could utilize these classes and have the same functionality as is possible building tables with views and is also possible using the Drupal administrative UI. So let's take a look at this. We've got a table with a class of responsive enabled. So let's be sure and add that to our table tag. And then for our table headers, the title doesn't have any class with a priority at all. That was our high priority, just the medium and low. So here's priority medium 
and here's priority hyphen low. And then this has to be also done to each column, each table cell. So we have to apply that class everywhere that it's used. So there's no way to target the entire column. We have to do it table cell by table cell. All right, so let's build our own HTML table and add these classes and see if we can achieve the same responsive behavior on our HTML tables as is possible building a table with views. So I'm gonna go over to my content and I've already got a node created with an HTML table. And you can see that although it is a little bit fluid and it does get pretty skinny there, it's not hiding or showing columns and there is a point here where it just can't get any narrower. So having that ability to hide a couple of these columns would be advantageous, especially in a narrow viewport. So let's edit this node. And this table was just dropped into the body field using the WYSIWYG editor, using the table button. I'm gonna go ahead and click the source button so that we can add these classes. So to the table tag, I'm gonna add a class of responsive enabled. And to the, let's add it to the summary. Let's add a class of priority hyphen low. And to the year published, let's add priority hyphen medium. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can keep track of what's going on here. So to our third column and our fifth column, we need to add some classes. So let's start with the class priority medium to our year published. So I'm gonna copy this and add this to each cell. There we go. And then to the summary field, I'm gonna copy this class and add it to that table cell as well for both of those rows. All right, so now we have some priority classes added to our table headers and table data tags, and we've added this class of responsive enabled to the table tag. Also beforehand, I removed the style equals width 500 pixels that um, the CK editor table tag added, the, the table button added automatically. So I removed that so that we don't have any inline styles overwriting any default responsive behavior. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And now when I resize this viewport, first the summary should go away. There's our first breakpoint, and there goes the summary. And then our second breakpoint, let's watch for the year published to disappear, and there it goes. So now we're left with three high priority columns. So, You'll see a lot of talk about all HTML tables being responsive in Drupal. And what is meant by that is that all of the administrative views that you see in the admin UI are responsive. So if I resize this one, for example, and that functionality is also available in views, but once you start adding content to your Drupal site, it's up to you to add those classes and to, to add those classes to your table so that you can achieve the same functionality. If you're creating tables in your module or theme, check the documentation on drupal.org to see how to add responsive table classes in your module or theme using, using a, a new simple responsive table API. And you can find out more at drupal.org slash node slash 1796238.